it's Visak Day, also Buddha's birthday, and as part of the celebrations, devotees practice Fang Sun to echo Buddha's benevolence for all life forms. Fang Sun is traditionally about saving beings facing imminent death. It's actually to give them a chance to live again so that they can live their actual lifespan so that they won't uh, be, uh, you know, because if they are being killed prematurely, they will be reborn into uh, uh, <laughs> this animal realm again, so-called, yeah. So have you done it before? Yes, yes we do. You do, uh, how, how every year? Uh, when the chance comes, so we usually we have to find the right spot. Uh, that means uh, make sure that we function at the right place and not in a place where they will die, you see. Right. So it must be in a place that is proper that we, we want to, uh, of course, uh, ensure that they can live, uh, but not to the drain or any, any place. Uh. Releasing the right animal in the right place is important, as reflected by Buddhist Fellowship spiritual patron Ajahn Brahm, who says that before one releases a captive animal, one must use one's wisdom to reflect whether one is doing more harm than good. This is a view shared by Ann Parks, who have started a Nature Keeper program to educate the young on our local forest and its floral and faunal inhabitants. As part of the program, an operation No Release was carried out to advise the public against releasing animals in parks and reservoirs here. What are some of the consequences of releasing animals into the wild? Well, uh, firstly, by releasing the animals into the wild, you have the impact on the native animals that were originally residing in the area. So some of the animals could be displaced by those that were being released. Okay, they will compete them with them for food and space. Uh, or worse, some of them may even uh, some of the animals that were released will actually prey on the native animals. Second thing, uh, animals that were released, uh, about 90% of them do not survive. Okay, so by releasing them, we are actually not doing them a favor. A lot of them actually die a slow and painful death right. due to disease, starvation. When they are being sold for release, sometimes uh, they, are, they are being captured for re to be sold as release. So the stress that they go through this process of being captured for release is quite actually quite uh, stressful for the animals as well. In the next clip, find out if bird shops here still sell birds to be released and find out what is the most common animal released in parks and reservoirs here. <laughs>